Yeah. Anyone yeah. watched any good movies over the break? I, well, I think we talked about it. I watched Parasite for the first time. And oh, was, Parasite, yeah. That was fucking phenomenal. <coughs> Don't I'm you just dare a watch podcast it. slave. So. No. <laughs> so I finally watched it because it was on Hulu. Shout out to Horace for, for helping me out with that. Um, and yeah, it was it was fucking phenomenal. Like it, he deserved yeah. all the recognition he got. It was a great flick. It was, I mean, it was, it was almost as good as the host. That's still like the best word. Host was fucking sick. Oh, the host. Kind of wanted to watch that. Yeah. The host was awesome. That was an awesome. And if if no one here has ever seen the host and wants to watch an awesome fucking monster movie, just watch the host. It's so good. Um, yeah, I actually I saw Tiff before everyone else. I I saw the host. At, or sorry, Parasite. I, I saw the host at the same time as everyone else. <laughs> I saw Parasite before everyone else. I saw it at TIFF. And when I first saw it, I'm like, man, that was really good, but I bet no one else is going to see it. And then I won the Oscar. <laughs> I, was and like, I, I, I heard it was really good, and then it got all this acclaim, and then it got really big. But uh, what, what were you going to say? Let's talk about TV. Um, Obviously, right now, I'm watching Better Call Saul. But it's going to end in, like, it's going to end tomorrow. So I'm going to be watching Leftovers, I'm going to be watching The Wire, I'm going to be watching The Sopranos, you know, all these great shows that I've never seen that are just critically acclaimed as some of the best shows ever on TV. So, um, with that said, first off, The Leftovers is the best piece of visual media. I don't think I ever shut the fuck up about how great The Leftovers is. Well, I'm going to watch it. I'm so yes. excited to watch Leftovers. Leftovers is 10 out of 10. Sopranos, I found overrated. I, I, I'm sure I'll get flack for that. The Wire, I think, is better than Sopranos, and it's like it's like. I, I agree like, with you with that. I agree with they're, you. They're it's completely like different, TV. though. How can you compare them? They, they couldn't be more different. All time. Well, first off, there's a whole group of people that say the Sopranos is the best show of ever time, of, of all time. Sorry, and then there's a bunch of other people that say The Wire is the best TV show of all the other time, and then there's like people with like a 70 IQ that say it's Breaking Bad is the best TV show of all time. First off. <laughs> They're all fucking wrong. The Leftovers is the best TV show of all time, and The Wire is a close second. But the Wire, you just you gotta pay attention to. It's just it, it's it's you gotta appreciate just how real and raw it is, and how like no one in the show. I mean, with the exception of like maybe a few critical people, almost everyone was just pulled off the street for the show, and it it, it translates so much to the media that you know like like it just feels completely how shitty Baltimore is. Um, Sopranos is just just stupid. I think Six Feet Under is better than Sopranos. Six Feet Under is a depressing fucking show, and I highly recommend watching that too. Uh, but nothing holds a candle to the leftovers. That is you the know best what? Um, so the leftovers is also my favorite show of all time. But I would say um, the only thing that comes close to me is the first season of True Detective, which I would put yes. over The Wire. Yes. For me. Also, uh, yeah, fucking yes, fun. Yeah. First thing that say, you have to have 70 IQ to think that Breaking Bad contends for the best TV shows of all time. Breaking it, Bad is amazing. I'll break it. Bad, Breaking Bad is a great show, but if you it, compare it to The Wire or The Leftovers or, or the first season of True Detective, it it doesn't hold a fucking candle. It, all The only reason Breaking Bad is as good as it is, and hear me out. Okay, have any of you guys actually watched Breaking Bad? Like, did you watch it on TV where you had to wait a week? Yeah, I did. Between Jumpsuit. Yeah, okay, Oscar did. But I Andy did not watch Breaking Bad. I did not. I did not. I okay. think I, I only saw the Bad. last three seasons live. I think the first two I... The only reason Breaking Bad gets you hooked is because they end each episode with a crazy plot twist. Oh yeah, I hate that. That pisses so the, me so off. The one thing Breaking Bad did, and yes, it, it, don't get me wrong, it's a great show. I was very invested. I was very into it. But the only reason it was so good is because... Vince was a fucking master of pacing. It's true. Incredibly well. And that's why it grabbed everyone and didn't let go. Another show like that? Lost. Lost did the same thing. Their pacing was phenomenal. They kept, you know, ending on these insane hooks that just got you. And I lost from season one. I watched season one on TV. Like, I was 14 in 2004. And, like, I remember watching that show. And, like, you couldn't wait till the next week to figure out what the fuck happened next. I Another kind of example of a show that it almost worked the opposite is, you know, we were talking about it uh, just, you know, in regular chats was The Walking Dead. So I read the comics. I love The Walking Dead. The, the, the TV show was good. Then it got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse, progressively worse, worse, and then nobody started watching it. So, you know, out of boredom with COVID, I mean, my wife never saw it, so she wanted to watch it. And I, I just finished the most recent episode today. 
The Walking Dead is infinitely better when you binge watch it because that show has so is so bad in terms of pacing. There are whole episodes where nothing happens. There are so many, especially in the later seasons, there's so many tangents. You know, you got the, the Alexandria group and the Hilltop group and the guy, the Tiger Guys group and Negan's group and, you know, all this stuff going on that you get so fucking lost. If you have to wait a week in between each episode, you just completely stop caring. And that's why I stopped caring. I mean, I think I, I stopped watching, like, season eight, and then I just rewatched it all. The show's actually better when you binge watch it. And I'm not even going to get into it, but there's some actually pretty good themes in the other ones about, um, about you know, ANCAP societies and, uh, and, um, and alphas versus betas and, and the role of a man in a, in a household that I'm not going to get into here because I think I'm just getting into things that we shouldn't be discussing. On a you, you know what forum. pissed me off about The Walking Dead? How fucking preachy it is. That show feels like it's trying to fucking teach me some lesson about oh, we have to oh, care about each other and rebuild society. Oh my god, that shit pissed it's me. It's just like there's just so much stuff. It, what's funny is that it, you know all the all the main characters build out. I mean, Oscar, do you have any any interest in watching the show? Can I spoil something? Oh, literally. Oh, no. I'm gonna watch it. Please Wait, don't spoil it. Yeah, also don't spoil it because we don't know who's watching. Oh, okay, well, I'm just gonna say this. Um, all I'll say is there's not pretty much of all the main characters. There's like one still in the show. Like everyone else, and they, they aren't even getting killed off. They're just leaving. There's like, I'm just gonna have like an ambiguous ending where I'm gonna go right off in the sunset. I mean, there's because certain the characters. Like, fuck off. Yeah, the actors just get over it. But like, I, I will say this it was actually a lot better, a lot more interesting. Maybe again, out of boredom, but it was actually a lot better to binge watch. But going back to it is The Leftover is the best piece of media of all time. It will make you an alcoholic, guaranteed. Yeah. And um, I highly recommend watching it. To go back to our whole point here, what's your favorite movie slash TV show that relates to fish, fish keeping? I mean Nemo. I I mean I genuinely have not seen a single good <laughs> TV show. Shark right. Tale. Shark Tale. Um, I like I... the episode of um I like the episode of Tanked featuring Mark. <laughs> Mark's sandaled foot. Yo guys, I got a question for you. Yeah. So, oh wait, wait, hang on. Before you okay. have any question, um, Life Aquatic. Life Aquatic's a fish movie. That's the best fish movie. Yeah. That's my favorite movie of all time. Favorite movie. What about time. Shape of Water? 